I love Pipedrive's custom fields. They allow you to collect really great data about all of your prospects and use that data in reporting and also in creating really robust filters. But sometimes that data can get overwhelming. It can be a lot for your sales reps to look at and to know what to complete when. Now, Pipedrive has a new feature which allows you to group those custom fields, which is really gonna help with the usability of all of those custom fields. So let me show you an example here of how you can set that up. So I have this deal where I have an intro call today. I'm gonna to go ahead and open up that deal here. Let me move myself over here. Um, and you see all of these detail fields, right? Um, just in a long list here. So these are all of my deal detail fields. So if I want, I can now group these into sections to make it a lot more clear what needs to be accessed when. So you can do that either from a deal view or a person view um, or from the back end here um, in your company settings. I'm gonna show you both ways. So here in the detail view, if you click on more action and then organize fields. Um, you can always drag and drop fields into different order, but you can also now add a field group. So I'm gonna add a couple of groups here. Um, I want my intro call fields, and then I also want my proposal fields, and for my intro call fields, what's important here is the intro call date and the proposal type. Those things need to be completed um, after the intro call. The intro call date, that should be done via automation, but the proposal type, that's something I need my sales rep to fill out um, once they've had that intro call. Then for the proposal, we need the proposal sent date and then also the proposal status. And I'm gonna reorder these here. And then I actually want the intro call section at the top and the proposal section underneath it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And now you see you have these two kind of subsections which can be collapsed so you can look at more or less data uh, depending on what you're trying to do. Now I'm gonna create another section for all of this information. All of this is actually information that's completed via automation. It's not something that my sales rep ever needs to touch. They just need to access it uh, in order to prep for their calls and that sort of thing. Um, so this I'm gonna put in a different section. Um, again, I could do that here but to show you how to do it in the back end, if you go to company settings and then data fields, then here you can create a, another group. I'm gonna add another group, which is form details. And here I'm gonna put in all of those sections, just dragging and drop. So we have source, scheduling tools, and I'll pause the video while I drag these in. Cool, so I've got those fields all dragged in and in the order that I want. So I'm gonna click save here. And then if I go back to my deal, now I've got those three sections, the form details, the intro call details, and the proposal details. Um, again, these are all deal detail fields. You can do the same grouping for person fields as well as for organization fields, um, products as well. Um, and then you can also create kind of more robust connections to your automated activities. So here I say, review the form details to prepare for your call, and then you have the intro call. So, hey, expand your form details and check out the information that they gave us. Um, then if they are ready for the proposal, you're gonna do this, completing the intro call details right here. Um, if not, you're gonna do this, also completing the intro call details um, and following the instructions from there.